What's up, everybody? It's your favorite monster's favorite nerd. Today we are going to look at Abominus, and hopefully this will all pay out um, because this has been a declining line as far as I'm concerned. So I haven't combined them yet. We'll take a look at them today, and, and we'll get to the bottom of it. But this is how they look in bot form, and, and to be honest, as display pieces sitting together, they look just fine. Like, this will do just fine. And here they are in monster mode, and I personally think that this looks like a train wreck. Like, with the exception of Troll, I feel like this is almost laughable. Like, there's support issues in the joints. Like, a lot of them, like, they just collapse with the smallest bit of pressure. Let's see. There. Like, it's just... It's, I, I, I don't care for these designs at all. Like, these, these like, non-ratcheted hinges and at, at the elbow joints and ankle joints with ball joints and all that kind of stuff, it just it needed more. And with the exception of Troll... <clears throat> Um, which even on those little pigeon legs, like I'm putting a fair amount of pressure on him and he does just fine, but the rest of them is just, it's a mess. Like it's, it's like the goof troop and here they all are ready to be combined. Now I shout out to Lenny Decepticon. He, he told me to, that he did his, I guess, and they end up looking a little bit more symmetrical. Um, but let's, uh, let's get them combined. That's the problem. Are we already off to a bad start? Oh look, my spring. You see the springs? There's one. I tell you what, that hunger... He's a mess. Might as well just leave that off for now until I get this other one in. This one's got the same problem. Like, you know, people are like, well, you know, cut the spring. And like, dude, I don't want to cut the spring, man. Like, I, I paid a hundred and some dollars. Like, I want you to, I want them to have cut the spring before I got it. There it is. All right, I gotta admit, so far he's feeling pretty sturdy. So that's good. I'll put this dragon head back on. All right, I'll have to put that on off camera. All right, let's continue on. Unbelievable. Oh, that was my fault. That was my fault. It's gotta go in sideways and then you can adjust it. Like that's a problem. Let's see if I can't. All right, so that's that. Let me uh, let me see if I'll, I'll clean them up and then we'll take a look at them. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm playing Batman. Aren't you supposed to be doing a skit? Look, Gina, Gotham needs me, all right? I can't be bothered with that. And shout out to Alex. Colleen, it's real. Okay, so there he is. I can tell you my advice is to put them together and then add on this chest and this piece here because it, it does get obnoxious. Um, even these side gun things that go into the, the side of hunger. Um, but let's talk about them. So, head is on a ball joint, but you get really nothing up nor down. I mean, the slightest bit. Uh, you pretty much just get the swivel. And that kind of sucks. I guess if you utilize the tab, you know, the hinge there, you can get up, but then you break the sculpt, right? So that's, that's kind of stupid. Uh, for the arms... They're on ratchets that are, 
are perfect. Um, really, really, really well designed ratchets um, for both the swivel and then for the hinge. So, like the, the this this ratchet in there works like a universal, and it's 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 money. It's money in the bank. For bicep swivel, it's below the elbow, which is a little weird. Um, not the worst thing that could happen, but it is a little strange. And then the elbow is this slide out piece um, that gets you about 90 degrees. Now, the problem with that is that the extension makes the proportions a little weird to me. Like, uh, it's a little bit of a monkey man. So, if you collapse it, you lose the elbow, though. Um, you know, because you can't really bend the, the legs because of the way that it collapses. So, you're kind of forced to extend it. Um, so just pointing that out. Uh, wrist is on a swivel here, no hinge, and then you get a ball joint, a ball peg here at this, and then the first knuckle is on a hinge, and then all of these are at ball joints at their base knuckle, and then they get one hinge in the middle of the finger. So lots of ball joints, not my particular favorite way to do business, but, uh, but it is effective, so that's okay. And then the articulation is pretty much the same on the other side. I'll show you just for the purposes of efficiency. Um, ratchets work just as good um, and out just as well. Same with here and the same kind of problems if you try to collapse it and then the same for the hand. For the waist, uh, you get the swivel in there, so that's good. And then the uh, hips are on, uh, let's see here, uh, it's a swivel here at the base of the hip, and then you get the ratchets out. Um, so I would have really preferred if they were ratchets inside the core of the pelvis, um, because he does have a tendency to lean, and um, I am having some stability issues, minor compared to what I thought they were going to be in terms of him kind of leaning. Knees are on ratchets that work just fine, both sides, and then you get the, the swivel here, um, which is kind of interesting. You get it at this, at this base joint, so you can kind of get some pretty dynamic poses out of him, like stoic looking poses, not necessarily dynamic. Um, ankles, no tilt, but you do have a rocker, um, which is you know definitely the preferred articulation if you're going to have one, but it would have been nice to have a tilt as well. Uh, so, yeah, overall, I have to say, better than I thought it was going to be. As for the gun, he does hold it. It's kind of a pain to see exactly where it goes. Um, and it's not the best design because they're small. It's a small peg um, that fits into that slot. And it, it doesn't really stay well. But you wrap the fingers around it, and, and it'll, it'll do but it's, it's, it's definitely not the best I've ever seen. Size-wise, there he is next to Warbitron Bruticus, so slightly smaller, but definitely on par. And then uh, make toys giant, you know, kind of not standing up to the, the, the team there. I think somebody asked me to show these two next to each other, um, the Make Toys Computron, so definitely it doesn't look right together. And there he is next to the other, uh, the only other option that's available for him uh, properly anyway, which is the G1. You know, there, you, there, there's the one obvious difference that stands out, but all in all, I think it's a pretty good representation. Final thoughts wise, this thing is far from all puppy dogs and rainbows. There are lots of issues. Like, for one, he's just kind of messy. Like, uh... You know, a lot of things aren't tabbed in securely. A lot of the kibble on the back of Center Twin, uh, a lot of the arm stuff going on with the the uh, upper extremities, they just are kind of meant to just be there. There's no real dedicated place for them. Uh, there's also some accessories I'm finding a hard time uh, storing, with, like the swords, for instance, which, I, you know, that's for me is a big deal. I like to be able to store all the accessories away when it's all said and done. Also, the the hips are just a poor choice. They're just a poor choice for how they connect to the pelvis. Like that non-ratcheted swivel that comes out to another awkward joint, it's nothing is meant 
nothing is universal. There's a swivel at one place, there's a hinge at another, and then another swivel at another. And, and all that is clever in a way, but it doesn't really end up being efficient. And I would trade in cleverness for efficiency any day of the week with just a simple universal joint ratcheted well. There's just a lot of stuff that's not super secure, like the chest piece and all that stuff. Like, I mean, it's not going anywhere. I don't mean secure in that way, but just like as you're manipulating them, as, you know, stuff is coming loose and, you know, not tight anymore. As, as you know, if you have pieces like this, like the more you mess with them, the more you kind of have to clean them up when you're done. And as you do that, it just starts loosening these little connections here and there, which, which ends up being a, a big headache. Um, I also feel like the feet could have been better engineered. Uh, just having that one hinge for the ankle tilt, I mean, it's fine, but uh, it's also limiting in, in a lot of regards because you get zero hinge out of it whatsoever, zero, zero tilt. So you can get the foot to go this way and that way, but never this way and that way. And that, that does kind of limit you. I also think there are some proportion issues going on. Um, there's, there's stuff going on in those elbows that make them so long where it's just, it, just, it just starts to have the monkey man vibe. I will say though that one of the things that I, I was very concerned about was the, the proportions in terms of the waist, like the waist being too thin, and I definitely do not get that, especially with those side mounting guns in his, in his uh, flanks. It definitely widens out the proportions there and makes him look a lot more like a man instead of the hourglass shape that I, I feel like were prevalent in some of those early photos. And the other issue I had was that he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to distribute his weight well. Uh, be just because the there's no grips on the bottom of the feet and there's just that simple hinge that's not ratcheted for ankle articulation. So I was concerned that he was going to do the splits. But I think because there's four or five joints in between the pelvis and the ankles, that's that's where that weight gets distributed and it ends up being fairly solid, a lot more solid than I had uh, you know predicted. Do I recommend it? That's a tougher question. It's expensive uh, altogether. All it's an expensive piece and um, with combiners being the way they are today between, uh, you know, Feral Rex and Warbitron and so forth, like what Feral Rex lacks in some of the stability that Warbitron has, Feral Rex makes up for in presence. This guy doesn't really have that presence. He is more stable though, but he also lacks the proportions that Warbitron kind of nailed. So I don't know. My advice would be if you're not in love with the way that this looks, wait for somebody else to tackle it because I'm sure it's coming. But if you do love the way that this looks and you're worried about whether or not it works as a combiner, the good news is, is that it pretty much does. You'll be able to work them out, get them on a shelf, and be just happy as a pig in slop. So far from the worst thing in the world, but definitely not the best thing I've ever put together. So all in all, I'm fairly content. A lot of my concerns were put to rest. And a lot of the red flags that I saw early on that had me super concerned, super anxious, um, are, are not really concerns of mine anymore. There's some issues within the elbows too just you know getting them posed right is it's just not easy it's not right but getting him posed in a, in a cool stance it's just not easy he just doesn't naturally lend himself that way but he is solid you know but like a lot of people use that upper thigh piece as the elbow um, and then people you know complain that that's not solid well, this does it with that slide down piece, but now it throws the proportions off and there's some posing problems. So uh, I got to be honest, I would rather see these companies use the upper thigh connection of their limb pelvises for the elbows. That much I can pretty much say with great confidence at this point. So I hope that helped. It's very much a mixed bag and it comes down to a lot of what you want in your abominus. Uh, bot modes they'll work well too um, definitely don't have them as your monster bots because they're a nightmare thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care It's got to go in sideways and then you can adjust it. Like that's a problem. Let's see if I can't.
All right, so that's that. Let me uh, let me see if I'll, I'll clean them up and then we'll take a look at them. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm playing Batman. Aren't you supposed to be doing a skit? Look, Gina, Gotham needs me, all right? I can't be bothered with that. And shout out to Alex. Colleen, it's real. Okay, so there he is. I can tell you my advice is to put them together and then add on this chest and this piece here because it's just... It's, I, I, I don't care for these designs at all. Like these, these like non-ratcheted hinges and at, at the elbow joints and ankle joints with ball joints and all that kind of stuff, it just, it needed more. And with the exception of Troll, <clears throat> um, which even on those little pigeon legs, like I'm putting a fair amount of pressure on him and he does just fine, but the rest of them is just, it's a mess. Like, it's it's like the goof troop. And here they all are ready to be combined. Now, I shout out to Lenny Decepticon. He he told me to, that he did his, I guess, and they end up looking a little bit more symmetrical. Um, but let's, uh, let's get them combined. What's the problem? Are we already off to a bad start? Oh look, my spring. It, it does get obnoxious. Um, even these side gun things that go into the, the side of hunger. Um, but let's talk about them. So, head is on a ball joint, but you get really nothing up nor down. I mean, the slightest bit. Uh, you pretty much just get the swivel. And that kind of sucks. I guess if you utilize the tab, you know, the hinge there, you can get up, but then you break the sculpt, right? So that's, that's kind of stupid. Uh, for the arms, they're on ratchets that are, are perfect. Um, really, really, really well-designed ratchets um, for both the swivel and then for the hinge. So, like, the, this, this ratchet in there works like a universal, and it's, 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 it's money. It's money in the bank. For bicep swivel, it's below the elbow, which is a little weird. Um, not the worst thing that could happen, but it is a little strange. And then the elbow is this slide-out piece um, that gets you about nine. You see the springs? There's one. I tell you what, that hunger, he's a mess. Might as well just leave that off for now until I get this other one in. This other one's got the same problem. Like, you know, people are like, well, you know, cut the spring. And like, dude, I don't want to cut the spring, man. Like, I, I paid a hundred and some dollars. Like, I want you to, I want them to have cut the spring before I got it. There it is. All right, I gotta admit, so far he's feeling pretty sturdy. So that's good. Put this dragon head back on. All right, I'll have to put that on and off camera. All right, let's continue on. What's up everybody, it's your favorite monster's favorite nerd, and today we are going to look at Abominus, and hopefully this will all pay out, um, because this has been a declining line, as far as I'm concerned. So I haven't combined them yet, we'll take a look at them today, and, and we'll get to the bottom of it, but this is how they look in bot form, and, and to be honest, as display pieces sitting together, they look just fine, like this will do just fine. And here they are in monster mode, and I personally think that this looks like a train wreck. Like, with the exception of Troll, I feel like this is almost laughable. Like, there's support issues in the joints. Like, a lot of them, like, they just collapse with the smallest bit of pressure. Let's see. There. Like, 